Let's get back out to Mackenzie live at Cheyenne Frontier Days right now, having some fun. Mackenzie, you wrangled some guests this morning. We do. We have a lot of people out here bright and early, excited about this. You, know, you may have heard one of the chairmen just singing in the background on the stage. We're getting excited out here. So I want to show you we are here on the stage where all of the fun acts happen at everything, uh, every single night. This is also where the rodeo takes place. So that'll kick off tomorrow. So a lot of excitement. All of these stands will be filled with fans, country music fans, rodeo fans, country fans, uh, just a lot of fun and excitement out here. So we do want to talk to some of the chairmen here. We'll start over here with uh, Mike Smith. Uh, tell us a little bit about your history with Cheyenne Frontier Days. Well, uh, as you know, it's our 126th year of Cheyenne Frontier Days. We got our start in 1897 as a way to tie Denver and Cheyenne, and here we are still tied together uh, today. Tell me a little bit about that history. It's pretty neat. Yeah, you know, um, it's a long history. We've got great tradition in this arena. It's, it's kind of the, the Wrigley Field uh, of rodeo here in our huge uh, outdoor arena. And, and uh, it, it's going to be a blast, and we're looking forward to seeing everybody. Absolutely. What is your favorite part about Cheyenne Frontier Days? <laughs> well, meeting new folks like you and, and showing, it, seriously, showing first-time rodeo fans who've never been maybe to Wyoming or the West, getting them out here, showing them the, the rough stock, and showing them what, it, what it's like to kind of live a little piece of history in, in Americana. Absolutely. And we'll come over here to Jimmy Dean. And how are you doing this morning? We heard you singing just a moment ago. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about what it takes to put this on. I know it's a lot of volunteer work and a lot of dedication. We have over 3,000 dedicated volunteers that put their heart and soul into Cheyenne Frontier Days. And it actually it starts the day after our show ends. And we start putting it together from day one. And they just work extremely hard. And we it just goes together and gives us something to do. And we get to bond together. <laughs> A lot of fun things going on. And tell us, too, uh, you said the Air Force brought you to Wyoming, uh, Cheyenne here. There's something really important about that this year as well. Tell us about that. You know, this year is the 75th anniversary of the United States Air Force, which um, we've been partnered with the military from day one, 126 years. It makes it really special because also the Air Force Thunderbirds perform here. We are the longest and continuous running show um, with the Air Force uh, Thunderbirds. So it's, um, it's pretty amazing that they're going to be coming up here, and it gives us a good chance to honor them and celebrate their birthday. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for your time. And again, so much excitement, so many fun events taking place here. Again, this place is going to be packed later on tonight. So we'll join you in just a little bit with more details on all of the fun happening out here at Cheyenne Frontier Days. Yeah, the Air Force, ton of different stuff up there. Wow, yeah. a lot of different things. All right, Mackenzie, thanks so much. We'll check back in with you around 530.